All right. Hello, everyone. I am back. Good to see you. Hopefully you're not sick of me. Um, yeah, because I'm really excited about this. Um, yes, Anika, this is going to be really fun. Of course, I love Photoshop, and more importantly, I just like creating cool stuff. So that is the plan. So thanks so much for joining me, wherever you may be. Uh, I'm just going to check elsewhere as well. I should see you guys out there. Out on the interwebs. Michelle, Steve, Wade, Frank, Christine... Uh, as well. Cool. So let's do this. All right. So uh, let me just switch screens. I'm going to talk about um, leveling up using color and texture. Color, lighting, and texture. So that's the goal. So uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm really looking forward to this. So let's kind of click over. I'm going to show you some of the images that I have. Bam! Look at these gorgeous images. And uh, so I have three images here. Obviously, some have color, some don't, right? So, uh, again, we can kind of toggle through these. They're already very dramatic, right? So, black and white, gorgeous black and white, all kind of statue-related. But I thought we'd have some fun with some painting with light and all that good stuff. Awesome. Oh, William, you're probably wrong. I, I'm only good in small doses. All right, so... Uh, I like love this piece. I might have already done a little bit of color correcting on it. I think I actually did, uh, just a touch. Uh, and I just cut out the hand is all I've done. But again, it's just an image. It looks like Mother Mary, basically. Again, this isn't a religious stream. It's just the subject matter we're going to work with. Uh, and I thought we'd have some fun with it. Okay? We could probably see the original out on my desktop. There's the original. So it's not that much different. Right, but we're going to have some fun with it. We're first going to sort of create a design. Uh, what I want to do is actually just jump out here, hit B for brush, right click, soft round, pressure and opacity, since I have, uh, I have a Wacom and I'm so excited about it because I've never owned one before. But we're going to create like a nice glow. I think this would be cool. Create a nice glow from the heart because it looks like she's putting her hand on her heart. Um, but uh, what I'm going to do is just like have it look like her like her heart is glowing. So let's do the composite and uh, then we'll have some fun. So again, that's what I've done. I've actually painted right on the image, which is a big no-no, right? So maybe not do that, Paul. Turning on this new layer, we'll just have this be the, you know, glow layer, whatever. Be for brush, you know, and again, like paint and we can make it look like it is glowing. All right. Uh, yeah, General Kenobi, we can do a displacement map for sure. Uh, so yes, Rita Smith, I see you out there, um, Muhammad as well. So again, this is pretty cool, but again, I'm still working on the compositing. I thought what I would do is actually put behind her hand, uh, like a heart, a real like human heart. Um, so that's the plan. I will jump out to Pixel Squid and, uh, refresh. Pixel Squid, just so you know, has renderings of 3D objects. So uh, if you don't know 3D or just don't want to sweat it too much, hey, just go out to pixelsquid.com. Uh, this is the heart that I'm going to use. So I can add it to my Lightbox, Photoshop Lightbox. It's actually already in here, right here. Bam, there it is. And we can use it. You can see I've already actually dropped it in. Right, right there. So turning that on, we can see... Uh, that heart, but I can still kind of do this. Oops, from the top. Let's click to download. Sorry, don't drag the image in there. You got to click to download and it'll add it to your uh, composite. So there it is, right? We could uh, turn off the shadows because there's a shadow underneath that we don't need. And then we can turn on high resolution. And uh, probably what's most important is we could rotate it. So we can adjust this and get it just the way we want. So it's at least anatomically correct is the idea. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do something like that. Let's actually check. Let's just, you know, Google human heart. Let's figure out where the heart is and how it looks. So it's kind of set up like that. Boom. Right. Hug that heart. That's right. There's the heart. We're going to have, oh, look at this. Uh, sort of the main, what, uh, arteries go up and down. I did not know that, right? But again, just kind of 
checking out some images, kind of mapping out where the blood goes. So anyways, there it is. I could always rotate it a little bit, but I think it looks pretty good. I'm just gonna rasterize this layer because I'm gonna break the link to that. I'm gonna turn it into a symbol, or excuse me, a smart object. Let's shrink it down. And I'm just gonna go to work, huh? Dropping it kind of there. Do you guys like the idea? Hopefully you guys like this. Right, from here we can double click. Here's the heart. We'll do image, uh, canvas size. We'll increase this canvas size by 2,000 by 3,000, like that. And then what I'll sometimes do, since I wanted these ventricles to trail off, we'll just grab the smudge tool. Smudge tool, like say over 60 at least, then I could just pull that and then it's just kind of gonna disappear. So that's really just all I wanna do for this part of the heart. All these like arteries are just gonna disappear into the body. All right. Yeah, yeah, funny that, I don't know how we ended up with the actual heart shape is uh, fascinating, you know? How did we end up with it? Shrink it down, we play with some blend modes, right? We already have that kind of glowing. I don't know, is this gross looking? Let's add a layer mask and let's still blend this out because these, what I just added, isn't doing it a lot of favors. So let's just make sure I actually I'm on the correct brush, and let's just fade this out a little. Let's do like that, okay? I, I just don't know, her, her, I want enough of a heart, I want enough of a heart, guys, to show, just for you to get that she's like holding her heart, right? You don't need to see the whole thing, All right? And now we're gonna have some lies kind of radiate out from it as well. Um, two actually human hearts side by side. Yeah, that's right, two hearts side by side. Oh, it's like if two people are hugging and if you outlined their hearts, you'd get a heart shape. Yeah, Sean, let us know what the sort of the, the W if she's, if she's doing West Side Galilee or whatever. <laughs> Hilarious, okay. Again, this is not meant to be religious. It's just meant to be fun. Uh, I'll usually click through the different blend modes. I'll probably keep it where it's at right now, uh, to be honest with you. We have the glow that we just painted, and we can add more to this. But now let's back up. She's holding her heart, and now I'm just gonna add a, like, a little bit uh, deeper meaning to this, if that's okay, right? Um, and what I wanna do is I want, rather than just red radiating out, Right, rather than just red, I want to actually have like the colors of the rainbow, right? Right, so we're just gonna make this, give this like a little bit deeper message. Sort of the colors of the rainbow, so you know what? You know, people just wanna be loved. All people just wanna be loved. So that's what I'm gonna do right in here. I wanna point this out, I'll jump in here, I'll just add this gradient. Here we have the rainbow gradient. Um, let's see what else we got in here. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, so, yeah. If you don't see these, well then just add your legacy gradients. Add your legacy gradients, that's where it will appear. I'm not a huge fan of all these folders. I don't need all those folders. Too much clicking, um, but it should be in under spectrums, right? There's some. So keep that in mind. I have my own little edition. By the way, did you know we're syncing this library? So I don't even have to worry about this anymore in my life. Um, just so you know, because I only need to set this up once. It's always gonna be up here at the top. Let's go. Let's go, radial gradient. Right, now we have this radial gradient. It's gonna radiate out from the, from the center. And that's what I want. We could radiate out from the center there or there. Ooh, that gives us even more color. What's cool about this is we could always change it. So I'm gonna convert this to a smart object. It's just a shortcut key I just did because I'm lazy, right? And now we have that radiating out from the center. We could play with it. Uh... All right, Holly, welcome. Just so you know, we're gonna be sort of painting with light 
and color. Um, you're never too late. I'd say you're right on time for what you need to see. So here's this layer, right? It's a smart object. I can always change it by double clicking it and I can edit that gradient fill, which is nice, okay? Now what I wanna do is I wanna have like a burst, okay? I could, I could jump in here and I can try liquify because that's probably what I would do is I would try to pull in like maybe some of these colors, right? And I would just kind of see how that looks. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. But um, I also need to still create the burst effect. So we'll get into this liquify a little bit more later, but that's gonna enable us to pull in more colors for this design, okay? Uh, what I really need is a burst effect. Let's do that, because I happen to have a burst. Let's do burst. Whoop. There we are. Uh, yeah, a couple of bursts. Here's a glowing abstract burst. Boom. There it is. This happens just to be in my library from Adobe Stock. And these are the radiating lines that I want. Right? That's what I want. But really, rather than it being yellow or gold, I want to use these colors instead. Okay? Good afternoon, Geneva from Brazil. The entire country of Brazil is here. Welcome. So right in here, I'm going to turn off everything. You can, I don't like how it grabs all the layers. Maybe I'll scale it up a touch. Here. I'm probably not even making any sense. But let's do this. Let's move this down. Go to the his, excuse me, the channels panel. And then right up here, I can just grab all the colors. Usually it's gonna be a lot of the red, but I'll hold down the command key and click. And that's gonna select all those colors. Command click on the channel that you want. And then you can go to that layer and add it as a layer mask. And there it is, you have that burst, bam. All right. Now I want to apply this cool, let's do burst, this uh, layer mask to my gradient fill. We can hold down the option key and just drag it down. Bam, there it is. Now what we have is we have this lovely uh, burst of colors, right? So now I could always, un oop. I could unlock it. And then you can kind of, you can kind of see what's happening now. Now I would probably like play with this some more. Okay, so this is where I would go in with liquify and bend this more. Uh, and what I can do is I can turn on the backdrop to kind of see where those bursts are at, right? And pull that in. Make sure it's all going like the same direction. So again, we're just grabbing that color. We're flooding this design with light like so. By the way, I was just using my, um, uh, I got a Wacom right here. I keep on forgetting about that. It's right here, folks. Okay, zip, zip. Just kind of brushing in these like cool, like bursts. And maybe it won't be cool. Admittedly, like this could be horrible. <laughs> I don't know. What are we even doing, folks? Do you ever get to that point where you're like, oh, what am I even doing? Okay, something like that. Okay, and again, it's just the start. I could always take that. Now, keep in mind, if you resize it, the smart object, um, uh, I guess it is changing that liquify. But yeah, I, like, I don't even know if that's that cool. Right, it still needs work, but I wanted to have like a multitude of colors in there as the goal. So I don't know, I don't know if it's working everybody, but that's why we're here. We're here to try out things. See, oh, I love this. I love getting more of this blue in there, right? This, that's looking a little better. Guess what? We could always kind of reconstruct this as well. So we'll go back into liquify, reconstruct brush, Maybe take down the pressure of that reconstruction because it can be pretty intense 
and just click and just kind of get rid of some of the crazy swooshiness. Do something kind of like that. Cool. Uh, yes, General Kenobi oh, nails it. That, that's what's going to um, level this up, by the way. Having that light bounce on the fingers, bounce around the chin, and just have fun painting with this light now. So it's going to be really good. I think it's going to be pretty fun. But I got to do a little bit of cleanup first around the edges. Just have that go away, like so. Um, we could do this a couple different ways because I could actually uh, add a, a layer. And in this case, you know, just grab her head, right? So that's the part that I want. Let's just do this. Jump in here, up, up. There we go. Do this however you want. I just have, uh, there we go. So I'm just, I'm kind of doing the inverse. Don't worry, I'm gonna invert this mask in a second. But I have to be able to see what I'm removing. So that's why I'm kind of like removing what I need. Let's do that, switch it. I don't like that. Okay, so let's invert this mask, selecting the mask, command I, boom, there it is. There we have her hand, her hand and her face on two different layers. We have that background, right? Let's crank that up to 100%. Let's turn on our light, right? And that's, that's kind of, that's what's going on. Uh, yeah, so let's play with um, some of the blend modes too. There's normal is just so intense. I'm tempted to take it down a little bit, but anyway. Ugh, don't run away from me, little Wacom pen. So we'll do head. We're going to put this in a new layer group. So this is still the head uh, for blending. And then we have the hand. Right, why did I do this? Because I actually want to be able to get rid of some of these, some of those hard edges. So let's go in here and just like paint. So kind of like that, there we go. So just kind of over the eyes. So we, we don't have such a hard edge, is the idea. Okay, another thing that's gonna happen is there needs to be lots of light bouncing off that, uh, that head as well. Yeah, we try hard light. Hard light's pretty good. That's it's a little intense, but that's okay. And I, I don't even know if I'm crazy about this uh, this gradient still as well. So not to worry, jump in there, change the gradient to something else. Guess what? You can also reverse this. If you double click, reverse. And now we're just dealing with some of these warm tones to cool tones. Back out, there we are. All right. I'm gonna try something else. So playing with light, I still have that heart there. So let's turn off everything. The heart mm, isn't working out too well. We're going to do, um, some might suggest dissolve. I love all the suggestions. Jojo Keegan, good to see you. Noor, uh, Rita, awesome. 
So I'm gonna try this um, and just see what happens. I'm going to add a, let's add a gradient map, okay? Adding a gradient map just to the heart. So now it's mapped the darks to black, the lights to, to red. Here, right in here, I could actually apply that same gradient that I used earlier for the background. Was it this one? Boop. Something like that, right? So again, this is just a starting point. Sometimes when you pick these gradients, oh, guys, I'm learning something new every single day, right? This roughness, I've never used roughness in here, but I was like, ooh, those little strands are kind of awesome. Uh, it kind of makes it look kind of grungy, but man, that is cool having that roughness that you can add and change the depth. Uh, keep in mind, let's click new. Huh, I did not know that was even possible. So we're learning. All right. I've never, never used that before. All right, let's get into this. Dark color. Purples. And a purplish blue. Red. Bam. And then we will have this dip into yellow. Right, there we go. That's what it's, it, uh, it almost looks too electric. <sighs> That's right. Golden Rose, you're right. You know what, the thing is, is like, you're not, you're not really gonna break Photoshop. It's fine, it's, you're gonna be fine. I say that now and then I'm gonna get like some emails saying, Paul, I broke my machine. All right, let's, uh, let's paint this hand. Okay, we could do that the same way. Okay, so just like we added this gradient map to the heart, we could do the same thing. Uh, Command J, drag it up to the hand, clip it, boom, there it is. And now it's clipped and now we can start painting. Let's invert this and let's just see what happens. B for brush, we're gonna start painting and revealing, revealing that color in there. So that's what that color looks like. Yeah, not crazy about it, but the fact that this is a gradient map that I can edit, sort of remove those colors and make sure it's nice and bright right in there. Okay, so that's one way of doing things. Let's just paint this a little bit more just so we get comfortable with what's happening. Paint right there. Maybe it's gonna come down here. So we get that trailing off into yellow, which I'm not crazy about. All right, so yeah, I need to work on this, everybody. I'd probably just add a new layer, get rid of that gradient map, and then just start painting with the colors that I could sample. So I'd sample that, that red, and then I would just like paint like over the top, right? You can see what's happening there. It's obviously just changing the color. Let's amp that up even more. And let's change the blend mode. Color dodge. I don't like in color dodge. And still we'll have some of that light overlap the hands. Because this is all way too crisp. Yeah, let's just paint everyone. Get your paint on. Nice thing about this. 
I'm going to change the color down here a little bit. Okay. Uh... <laughs> yes, Sean, I've learned from Sasha's stream every, every time. I don't know if this is like, this is stuff that I would normally do. I don't know what I'm doing differently that that I wouldn't normally do. Um, but what I learned is uh, the, um, ch -ch -ch -ch, what is it called? The, the fractal aberration. What did we call it? I took notes. Uh, I don't have it. Spectral aberration, is that what it's called? That's what I learned yesterday. Chromatic aberration, thank you. So again, super intense here. Let's change the blend mode. Looking good, let's do that. On the background too. So we're gonna get rid of this like muddy color that we see in there. Change that to say lighten. And I'm just painting slightly. Go down there. Like these edges, see that? Uh, let's change the color. The further away, I kind of want it to be a little bit more pink. And let's take this layer, jump it, remove the background. Ready? Let's remove the background. Bam. Because I've noticed a little bit of spillage. Little bit of spillage like out here. Like that. Mm, yeah. It's not that's not gonna work for me. That's okay, because just throw in a clipping mask. Ugh. I keep dropping this thing. And then I get very blurry. There and I'm back. Oh, good, good. S Steven, I hope I'm cheering you up. And again, we're just having fun painting with colors. The goal is to have it like really bright, warm colors. And then it, as it trails out, it should slowly turn into just like lighter colors. So let's actually open up our swatches since I know I'm going to be selecting colors a lot. All right. Drop that right up there. Now I could just jump in and pick a blue or a purple and just slowly kind of paint that in. Okay. Oops. Over here, over here. Switch to more of a red. How is everyone doing today? I'm excited, let's see. Got Jason's live stream coming up. Howard's, of course, uh, that is getting intense. <sighs> Kyle Webster's as well. Okay, so check this out. So I painted, I painted on here her face with just red. And I'm like, ah, I want to dip that into like uh, purple. So I would select that layer and then I would lock, sorry about all the zipping around, uh, lock the transparency. Then I'll select my purple and now I can come in here just where the eye is. I'm bringing in a little bit of that purple, like adding that just like little depth of color makes it look nice. 
Uh, Anissa, good morning to you. Okay, so now that I've zoomed out, I'm realizing that this heart is horrible. And you guys should have told me it was horrible. <laughs> it's so bad. Like this, this color stuff, nah, this isn't working. Like maybe I'll play with some blend modes on it. Maybe that works. Maybe it needs a little bit of uh, a background to kind of set it off a little bit. I don't know. Maybe this crazy, um, yeah, maybe it's working, maybe it isn't. I'm struggling with it, everyone, because I, I feel like I'm covering up too much of that heart. And I'm not crazy about that, like, the highlight there. So, again, just, just kind of struggling with this, everyone. I'm struggling with this finger, too. We're losing it. So anyway. Yeah, this is gonna take some work. I think it needs to look like like her hand is kind of on it like that. There we go. Just like I don't know, something a little bit of needs a little bit of separation. Ah, <sighs> I don't know. Yes, it looks like if there's a fringe on the heart. It's this gradient map that I tried to apply. So let's just go to levels. Get rid of that. That fringe is distracting. Uh, oh, you know what? By the way, I love a team of chat art directors. Like, usually. <laughs> I actually do, because it, it just really helps out. OK, so that, ah, I'm still struggling. I'm still struggling. Uh, you know, sometimes the best thing you can do when you're struggling with something is like step away and come back to it. Because the problem currently is that, again, you just can't tell that it's quite a heart. And you know what, you don't, it's just getting kind of all mixed up in there. So I'm just having a tough time. Sometimes the best thing you do is just step away, go to something else, come back to it, right? Maybe the heart doesn't even need to be in there. Maybe the burst is not quite right. Oh, oh, thank you. The heart is, there we go. That helped out a lot. Thank you so much. Uh, t -t 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 Golden roses. The heart was actually over that, the burst layer. And that shouldn't have been the case. Shame on me. All right, so I need to kind of have some in and out going on here. I still want to reveal some of the heart there. So thank you so much, Golden Rose. You are good. Okay, so I could put this, this is our burst, inside of another folder, burst, you know, folder, whatever. But this will allow me to kind of erase parts of this without destroying that mask. So we preserve this layer mask just by putting it in a folder. And now we can just add layer mask and then paint a little bit. So we can kind of reveal part of that. Um, and again, we still still have some funny things going on. <sighs> okay, 
Let's move on. Let's do this. Let's do this, people. Uh, yeah, these are new tools that I have not worked with. That is fascinating. I'm going to go with this. Look. Let's move it to the side. Oh man, I'm going to be working on this for a while. I feel it. Right? But we've changed the look a fair amount. And the nice thing is we can jump in and edit this. So let's throw in some purple or some hot pink. Saving it. There we can see it change. All right. There we go. Yeah, an Anorma adding a bevel to the the heart. Let me go ahead and open up uh, one that I was working on earlier. Oh. Here's one I was working on earlier. I feel like the heart in this other one was working better. This one's reading more like, I'm reading the heart here. So looks like this is set to screen. So, and the angle is different. So let's do that. Ah, this is the issue. Figured it out. It needs to be a solid color. I hope this does it, like underneath, because it's just getting too confusing. So kind of behind the heart, it just needs to be simplified. And you know what? Maybe we'll even just go with this one. Hey, I'm not I'm not proud. Ah, good times, good times. All right, let's do this, people. Pretty 
bring this over to the top. It's just one of those days. That already looks better. It's reading as a heart. So, yeah, Jen, Jenica, that's a good idea. Uh, I thought about adding a skeleton, but again, I kind of want to focus on painting light, so that's what I'm going to kind of going to continue to do. Okay, like I was doing right up here, we can see that lovely blur. Let's go ahead and use the blur tool. Just blur this out some. Okay, wait for it. Let's rasterize this layer. Grab the smudge brush, smudge tool, and just pull. this out. Yeah, I think I overdid it with a smudge tool. That's why I'm undoing. I, I don't want it to look like a perfect sphere, but it starts to take a, a really like weird shape. So I'm gonna try to just pull out a little bit of this. Now, uh, the disadvantage of using the smudge tools, there's like no undo. So that's why I'm like a little fearful of doing this. Ah, all right. Hello, Muhammad from Bangladesh. Let's take this. Let's save it. Uh, let's do something else that will be fun as well. As I look at this, what else does it need? Okay, th that's good call, uh, Anissa, like sort of the, the pulsing light kind of matching the shape of the heart. But I like the idea of like this pulsing light, this like rainbow of color coming from the, um, coming from the heart. All right. So I still have a backup one here. There's that. All right, you know I'm thinking when uh, I get quiet. Let's make that a smart object. 
new layer mask because I'm seeing that edge right there. Let's get rid of that. Ah, oh, I need to add a splash of light everywhere. And I need to stop dropping my pen. All right, let's, let's paint with some a splash of color. Change this to lighten. And let's just start sampling some of these colors. Sometimes what I'll do when I end up using this a lot, I'll move it to the left side just because I'm left-handed. So it's just easier for me to select colors this way. So I can jump in here. We can add a splash of green right here, right? So it's going to hit right there. Green right there, right? We see a lot of the green. As it goes further out, we see some red. So we'll add a little bit of red on the outside. Uh, we want to make sure that that ha ha is this clipped to the statue, so I just added that layer mask. So there we go. Now we can throw some yellow in there. Right, a bounce of green. Where I see that green is where that green should be, like splashing right there. And then yellow. And then red. Red's kind of toward the outside. Hopefully that makes sense. Just painting with some light. Let's throw some yellow up here. Right, that yellow hits the chin. The yellow should hit the hand. No, actually the blue. Purple. Purplish color. There we go. Is that looking better? <sighs> add some sparkly lights. You got it. Yes, that's what I was going to add some like bokeh effects as well. So, um, yeah. And another thing I would do is I would probably take. This is looking like a total mess. There's the burst. Burst of light. You can always take a smart object and convert it back to layers. Right, so now I have this original, this burst. Let's turn off that one, but this is what I have, this little burst. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this and just take a piece of this burst and just reveal parts of it in different places. So we're just going to have these fun streaks. Checking the time. Uh, yeah, we have Jason up next. Let's take a peek at his topic. Ooh, remote editing one year later. Oh, tips and tricks. That's fascinating. Yeah, tell me about it. You can always hold down the option key, and when you add a layer mask, it'll add it as black, right? Because that's what I want to do. I want to turn that off completely and then start painting with white, um, you know, to have those lines kind of come in in different spots. So, like, if I want a big swooshy burst coming up this way, I could throw that in like so. You can always disable it. Because really what I want is I want some light coming over the hand right through there. That's what I am gunning for. Like that. 
There we go. There we go. Kind of like that. There we go. Sweet. All right. So, uh, Here we go. Let's uh, let's add some bokeh. I think this this could use a black background. Maybe it's something else, right? We're gonna throw some bokeh in there. So let's just go to libraries. Let's see what I have. Um, let's jump out here because kind of like this one and this one. So I just need some nice little dots, basically. No, it's probably a little too big. All right, little pro tip for you as well. It's definitely too much, I get it. Um, you know, ultimately I'd love to turn this into an animation, so I actually think I have some video. Oh yeah, falling dust particles. Look at this. Isn't this gonna be nice? I don't know if you guys know this, you could open up a video in QuickTime, just hit Command C, it'll copy that frame, go into Photoshop, paste, there it is. These sort of, uh, dust particles is what I'm looking for. Maybe, maybe not. It might be too much. All right. Yeah, I don't know if that really added anything to it. Yeah, I don't know if it's that lovely. I I uh, I have a lot to do with this. I gotta I gotta. There's a lot of work I still need to do. All right, it just needs it needs more work. I want highlights. Right. In here with like yellow, right? I want to do that. Like add just a little highlight throughout this piece. S smudge it out, made it a little bit too much. Just smudge it. So this is what I, this is really the detail that it needs. These little highlights will make it look nice. Are you guys learning anything or are you just like enjoying watching? <laughs> Changes the color of the dust particles. Yeah. Hey, why not? Let's do the ones at the top. I'm tempted to make them like a uh, blue or something just to push them back but maybe they need to be red all right uh why not both both what i don't remember what i was even talking about uh nice thing you'd always do um is uh yeah Always play with like color look up near the end and see what you get. So here's obviously the crisp two strip. I would go for maybe one of these Fuji's to see what happens. 
uh, but you could obviously see the difference you get. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with this. This looks pretty good. This nice Fuji doesn't actually change it like that much, just punches it all up some more, which I like. But I'm gonna work on this some more and then I will uh, be painting it and posting it to Instagram. So thanks so much for watching. Um, and I uh, hope you guys appreciate this. Next time I'll cover more texture because really I was just dealing with lighting and uh, glows and color. So thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for Jason. He's up next. It's going to be fun, everybody. Thanks so much. We will see you guys soon.